Imagine having to leave your car during the height of the storm, come back the next day to fish it out out of a roadway that looks more like a lake or a river. Right now we're on the Bronx River Parkway and I want to show you what first responders are still dealing with. Downed trees, water and mud in the roadways and cars that even at this hour are still stuck. It was 11 p.m. at night. New York City was in the midst of historic flooding. As Christian tried to navigate the Bronx River Parkway, his car stopped moving. Then water began to pour in. I was scared. I was really scared. After helping other motorists get to safety, Christian left his car in the middle of the parkway. And more than 12 hours later, his car is still there. And now it won't start. After waiting hours for a tow truck, Christian pushed the car himself to higher ground. I'm happy that it's not in the deep in the water like other cars. Like there's more cars like that that have been bad. You've got to be kidding. College students Kelly, Brandon, and Brianna spent the morning drying out their car in Yonkers. During the torrential downpour, they tried to move it away from all the water pouring in. All of our stuff is in there, yeah. and we start school this week, so yeah. This is all we have. Yeah. The powerful remnants of Hurricane Ida stormed through the region late Wednesday, dumping inches of rain along streets, highways, and parkways in Mount Vernon alone. We just had hundreds of cars stranded throughout the city, um, you know, definitely rescuing people with our boats. And across the region today, we found car after car still stranded from the Sawmill Parkway in Westchester to the Bronx River Parkway. We're seeing a 450% increase in the request for tows at AAA, and that started at 10 o'clock last night. Robert Sinclair of AAA has a tough message for anyone whose car flooded last night. Unfortunately, with today's model, modern vehicles festooned with computers and electronics, if you get inundated by water, you probably have a scrap of junk right now. Seeing all of these abandoned cars is a reminder if you are driving in a storm and you see a large pool of water, do not attempt to drive through it because there's no way to tell exactly how deep it may be. Reporting live along the Bronx River Parkway, Ayanna Harry, PIX11 News.